Okay, so let's take a look at how you can install SQL Server 2022. First thing, go to official SQL Server 2022 website. You can even Google or Bing this particular keyword. Right, next thing, click on this option of try now. Alternatively, you can also take a look at downloads. Right, click on that. Here you will find option to download either Express or Developer Edition. Right? See if you want Developer Edition. If you click on it, it should download installer. Right? And it should start installation once you run it. So it looks something like this after download. So double click on it. It will ask for admin permission. Right, as you can see, it shows SQL Server Developer Edition. Here you can choose installation type, basic, custom, and download media. Right, so you can choose custom, where you get to choose where to install that location and its respective size. Right, click on install, it will download the register files. Depending on internet connection, it will take a while. In my case, it's 150 Mbps, so it will take some time too. Note that there is also Enterprise Edition and Express. So with Express, you have some hardware limitation. So best option is to download Developer Edition and that will allow you to test all the features of SQL Server. Also, you will be able to do most of the development work with this edition as well. So the drivers and other options, even the samples, as you can see, it will show you the GitHub repository for samples, right? That is also listed here, right? So you can go there, double click on it, and it should open link to SQL Server samples, where you have databases, demos, features, and tutorials, right? So there is also forum support. So in case if you need any support, you can go to Twitter or Stack Overflow or even Learn page. Right, so it has downloaded the setup files. It will start the set setup options. Now here you see, thank you for installing SQL Server. If you are connecting to server from remote location, then you will have to follow additional process as well. So as you can see, it has successfully installed and it will also show you one more screen where you will be configuring your setup, right? So this is pretty much common for all past and current version of SQL Server. It goes through phases of planning, installation, maintenance. So here you can see all the help options, right? So you will have to go to installation, right? Here you can see you have option to install management studio, then data tools, then there is also standalone installation, right? And once we do that, we will find the option for SQL Server in menu. Microsoft, right? So here it will be available, right? So let's take a look at this. New SQL Server standalone installation or add features. Click on that, it should open a new window where you get to configure things. Right, so here you have few options for setting up edition. So currently, as you can see, develop edition is selected. There is also pay as you go Azure service 
and if you have enterprise edition key you can select this add the key for enterprise edition and also the subscription model right so you have the developer edition here then you can click next right now you can select through the license say yes click next now it will go through the checks and it will show you windows firewall and there is warning so rule firewall oh, warning generated right so we'll have to enable those ports right so we'll have to check what that is so if we go to those links we can see that we will have to run a few queries in order to keep the ports open so port 1433 is the default port and there is also 1434 right so that's the thing what we can do right now is click next so there is azure extension so i can disable this i don't need it right now so click next right now here you may notice that you have a bunch of features to choose from so database engine service is something that we need right and there is also option for analysis service then redistribute table features integration service right so here also you can choose multiple options like machine learning and language extension if you check this you have support for r python and java and also you will find the directory for your sql server instance so this microsoft sql server is on c drive in my case right so what we can do whenever we want to update anything will be coming to this particular location for feature selection right and we select our options right also you will find there are some services like analysis service right and shared features within which you will find integration service so if you are a developer you will find some of these features useful right so the base is instance features that is something we definitely need right so you may want to check some of these and begin click next now here i want to use particular instance name right so i will choose sql server right and copy this and add instance with this name then here you see installed instance currently no instance is installed so we'll have to click next currently we don't even have option to add a particular different instance considering this is the fresh install right so its name is sql server right click next now next thing we will also be needing option for windows authentication right so how you wish to connect to this database as you can see we have sql server agent set manual then database engine automatic and server browser which is set to disable so we are going to keep this as is right there is also grant perform volume maintenance task privileges to sql server's database engine right so you can enable disable based on what you need out of it you can read about this particular uh, grant perform value maintenance task option so in my case i think considering this is going to be a demo setup i'm going to ignore this right so let's click next right now here 
you will notice that you have a bunch of tabs server configuration data directories temp max db memory file stream so server configuration here you can see you have option to windows authentication right and mix mode so we will choose mix mode and then add current user or you can simply choose this option or if it shows you missing admin account click to add right also when you choose mix mode you will have to set a password for this SA account so we will wait for this to release prompt right so here if I choose add current user this user will be added now also I can use mix mode let me show you the option to add the password right so let's say if I choose current password right so I added the password now I can see that it has default user account right also windows authentication right so those two parts cover authentication and our user account right so click next it will show you the list of the options that you have accepted there is also a temp db option selected by default for you right click install and this configuration will be executed once executed it will install the setup right what we can do is go to apps then here we will have to check for installation center right select that say yes here you will click on installation then click install sql server management studio then it will take you to this particular option where here you can see to download ssm 19 preview 3 visit download ssms right so this is the stable version for now which is 18.12.2 so you can click on that right then it should start the download it's around 677 MB so we can set it up we can connect our SQL server now once you download it should start your SSMS and this setup will show you where it will be installing the same right you can change this if you want and then proceed with installation Right, then it will download and install your setup packages it will also install Azure Data Studio right so the extension that we disable at the time of setup that will be taken care of by this particular Azure Data Studio right so we don't have to do that extension setup through typical SQL Server 2020 now the setup is completed i can close this next thing i can also close installation center now if i go to menu all apps and if i go to sql server tools here i can find management studio i will select that and it will load up now what we have to do here is we'll have to see if it allows us the access to SQL Server 2022 right so here you see you have server type database engine right then there is server name SQL Server okay it will show you this server name before that you will find your computer name right there is authentication windows you can also choose SQL Server authentication and use the password that you use during the setup Time, right so if I use connect it should let me connect to our SQL Server 
2022 right now if we try and uh, run a script new query right so let's see if I try and uh, type in here select double at virgin and comma and if I execute this particular script it should show me the SQL Server 2022 version name right so if you see this that means you have SQL Server 2022 setup along with SQL Server Management Studio.